Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us today. Chilling on the couch, it's Mr. X. Mr. X. Welcome it's his final back. day. It Welcome. is my final day. It's been a good week, guys. It has been. Good. I'm glad. I, I've enjoyed our our, uh, our uh, conversations. I, I do. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's been a good one. I wasn't involved in one. <laughs> but that's all right. Well, to which you said was the best episode you, we've ever done. I, you, <laughs> Was, you've you've it was very thought provoking. I don't know. Jonas has been moping about that for all, 24 hours now. Like yeah, I don't yeah, even know. I mean, yeah, I've just been crying. Y'all been throwing pickles off your sandwiches at me. <laughs> it's all right. I'll rub his back later. We'll be fine. All right. So whoa, whoa, is, whoa. Is that his back? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm here today. We are here to discuss Corey Harris. Oh, we talked about him last week. I didn't know that was his yes. name. And Judge Cedric Simpson. All right. All right. So this this clip went viral last week, um, where Cedric Harris was showing up to court, and Corey he just, Corey he Harris just merged them into just, one person. Yeah, that's Corey Harris, that's right? Corey, here. Yeah, you said Cedric Harris. So that's, oh, I'm sorry, Corey Harris and Cedric Simpson. But Corey Harris is uh, driving his car while appearing on a Zoom call for court. Is TNT thing all black people look alike? Is that no, what like? <laughs> I love that though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, you're not afraid to take a take a choice. He just thinks all white people. Are like. No, I don't. <laughs> it's a good thing you're Puerto Rican, Jonas. Uh, at least he, he is knows. not. I'm the farthest thing from Puerto Rican. You're making me disagree with everything you say. You are very. You're, are you Puerto no Rican. butting us instead I'm of yes and? Yeah, yeah where, like seriously, it. where's the yes and? I don't know what to do. Corey with Harris that. shows up for traffic court, and the judge is like, "His license is suspended. Why is he showing up for court with a suspended license?" Corey Harris loses his ish. He's like, oh, man, I really made a mistake. News came out that Corey Harris had done the, the specifics to get his license reinstated. He even showed up on a news program and said, my license was reinstated. And I have a big community. I have a, uh, a standing with the church and the community. And it's very embarrassing when this comes out and it goes viral. But I'm going to go to the judge and we're going to get the case handled. Okay. So, also turns out that he during his next case, he gets a lawyer, gets a judge. The man's license was never, he's never had a Michigan state license. It turns out that the man had an ID card issued to him in 2023, never had a license. He never had one to he begin never with? Never had one, dude. He never, he's back behind bars. Oh, no. <laughs> So, so so hold so on. So it's all I'm, a ruse. I'm trying to follow. So so dude shows up and the judge is mad at him because he's in his no, car. No, he goes, Mr. Harris, isn't your license suspended? And he was like, Oh shit. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, You need to report to jail by six PM today. He was just taking his wife to the doctor because she had had recent medical issues. Oh. So are you saying he had a story? He had a story had a and story. he definitely sold it. Everyone, but then it turns yeah. out he goes to court. And the man had never had a Michigan ID, which is the state he was driving in. Oh. He had a suspended license, but the license was suspended from a license from a previous state. It goes into a whole, like, there's so, so much. So ultimately, he needed to go to jail for driving without a license. The, the worst part is that when he showed up for his second court hearing, is that he also had a warrant for his arrest. Oh, my God. For a suspended license. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, Wait, is this is this a different charge in the first? Yes, case? it's hundred oh. percent a different charge, man. It's, oh my god! Yeah, so it it divulged into like everybody laughing at this guy for being an idiot to everybody sympathizing to this guy for, oh man, he he you know he had actually done the things. It was just a clerical error. It was chalked up to a clerical error to him being a total jackass and actually having to go back to jail because oh he had a warrant for his what, what a roller coaster of emotion. It was it was the most roller coaster of emotions that you could ever have for a simple traffic court violation. It was <laughs> it was he, had, a, he ended up in jail twice because of it. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. You know what you need to do? What? Not go to jail. That's a good idea. Have either one of you ever been to jail? Nope. I have not, no. No. No, no. You ever like want to know what the experience is like? No, I'm good. I've seen enough video. I've seen Oz. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen enough of Bravo shows or whatever they are that do like the behind bars things. I'm like, no, nah, I don't know how good I'd do in jail. I don't know if I'd be the. I don't know if I'd be sixty the right guy days in. There. Yeah, I don't know if I'd it's do that good. <laughs> and I've met people Bro. that have been that have come out of jail and been like, 
I don't want to be in a room with you. Now, there's a difference between jail and prison, though. Oh, I'm 60 talking, I'm, days I'm, in I'm talking about prison. prison. I'm talking about prison. Yeah, I don't yeah. know much about I don't want to go to prison, but jail is like, you know, you're there for 24 hours and you're out. You, you know? had like a concierge breakfast and stuff. They, they really? do. They bring you McDonald's and stuff. <laughs> I've managed to keep my nose relatively clean. I, so exa- I, never, never mind. What? What? What were you going to say? So Jonas is so cocaine, salty about the other day. <laughs> What's your problem with drugs? <laughs> Jesus. I don't even know what's going on right now. I I, I'm either. confused. Like, it's head cannon, dude. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Yeah. No, but I've not. No, I've not been to jail. I, uh, like I, I've been. A, I was a traffic court when I was a minor. I mm-hmm. once got pulled over by a cop. Mm-hmm. Uh, to compliment me on my driving, I kid you That's not. That's insane. I was front I was door, actually man. not happy about. It. I was like, you seriously pulled me over right now to say I, good job. Yeah, he's, well, because I let somebody. No, I had let somebody go in front of me. Like it was a lot of heavy traffic, and he was behind me, and I'd let some go. And I was in high school, so maybe he was doing it to okay, be, kind of prove okay. a point. Okay, but but it was it was out in front of the high school, yeah. and he goes. He goes, hey, you just want to say, I, I, you know, that was the courteous thing you did, and, and and thank you for being a courteous driver. Oh. I was like, cool. Can I go now? Like, like, why are you lighting me up for this? <laughs> like, yeah, well, I didn't really yeah. like it. And I was a pretty good kid, but I was like, I don't like this. Like, why? Uh, one time I got pulled over for driving over the train tracks too fast late at night. <laughs> <laughs> Were you, were you trying to catch air, or you just went a little too <laughs> no, fast? No, I just went over them too fast, and the cop was like, <laughs> he goes, he goes, I thought you fell asleep at the wheel or something. You went over those tracks pretty fast. I was like, "No, I'm just a shitty driver. I don't know." No, nah, man, I wasn't shitty. My friend ended up knowing the cop, so we were good. Oh, that helps. That yeah, helps. I would have got busted for curfew because it was way too late for me to be out. <laughs> you should have been pulled over for what? You did I wasn't cost- jumping the tracks. Nah, you know, you might have thought you were. I don't know. And I it, also- le- it leads up to it leads up to that. And one time I got get away with it once, and then you're like, oh, the cops. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it's, it's a it's a gay over. it's a gateway offense because really, yeah, you jump those yeah. tracks. Next thing you know, you're raping people. Like you, <laughs> you got to pull that dude over Jesus. immediately. The next step is SA. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. I'm glad he stopped me, so I didn't, <laughs> didn't so I didn't turn me. into a terrible person. I'm glad he stopped. Me. <laughs> well, that's why he pulled you over. Now yeah. look look at you and now. Then I got look pulled over one time because my dad renewed my insurance, but didn't or my my registration, but didn't give me the sticker. So like my registration showed expired, and like we had all sorts of drugs in the. No, I'm joking. He he just said he said it was fine they pulled you over just for registration because the sticker was expired could he see he could see the sticker <laughs> see yeah. i don't there's no way you know, those dudes can read that okay sticker. so look you know, in, ohio, in ohio it's a little bit different oh is it different? In Ohio, okay. it's on the back plate and it's colored it's by colored. oh okay so i got know. pulled over in pa for the same thing but i had actually got the sticker i had it in like my uh console and they pulled me over for it and uh, i was like oh i got the sticker right here i'm sorry i just forgot to put it on yeah yeah so they know like they look for if you see mm. this color sticker they know it's okay. Expired. Yep. Yeah, like right. it's usually the month before. You know what I mean? They just yeah. That's the way they do it with boats now. Here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So because like yeah, Texas it's on the front windshield, so yeah. it's just like too, totally different. Yeah, it's just a number. It. Yeah. Do you do you feel like your your run ins with the police, especially yours, because yours was kind of like a, a police officer commending you on your driving. Do you feel like that's had an, uh, any influence on the way you drive now? Like I know you ain't jumping tracks anymore. I did jump, especially track. in that boat you drive. I did. I mean, jump. I, I, didn't I, I, I did run from a cop once too. I did Shut that too. Fuck. So I, I, I'm not, I'm not totally, you know, goody two shoes oh over my here. God, you granted, from the his cops. lights weren't on yet. I've had um, very weird experiences with police driving. I've been pulled over a lot. Like I got pulled mm-hmm. over uh, once. Uh, going like 90 on the freeway that might be it and the cop told me that he was just looking for drunk drivers and i don't even need to slow down for the rest of the way and just let me go and this no was like two, this was two o'clock in the morning on memorial day weekend and then i got pulled over one time in east texas and the cop like grilled me asking me if i had any large sums of cash in the car if i had any weapons if i had any he was like yeah do you have any large sums of cash on you and i was like what are you talking about you probably fit the description that I mean, day. you know whatever i got i, look. I, I got pulled, uh, I, i've been pulled over in east texas for that same kind of thing oh really? did he ask you all those questions uh-huh. yeah because really? they i they're i think it's because they're looking for they're looking for smugglers 
yeah and stuff like i think that's what they're doing or or that dude's gonna shake you down for some cash if you yeah. had to but it's not like who's gonna say yes i do have a large sum of money and that's what i'm saying what smuggler is gonna be like oh God, i sure do me. sir sorry i got 200k yeah. in cash in the trunk buddy since i'm under oath over here i just thought i'd tell you the truth and you know. i got pulled over one time because i was trying to um I got boxed in by like a semi and the exit was coming up. So I tried to speed up to go past him and like a little bit. And I wasn't even really speeding. And I had to, I had to break really fast and then cut behind him and like go out, get off the freeway. And he pulled me over for that. Uh, he was... There's an entire podcast episode dedicated to that story. Was there? There is. The one where I, man. Brent, just because you don't think I pay attention to you doesn't mean that I don't, man. I'm, I'm here every episode, man. I remember that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so we f we finally come full circle. We're, we're we're going back to old stories now. Yeah, happened? man. Oh, That's we talk about the same shit all the time. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so. <laughs> truth not facts, right? Yeah, I mean, it's truth not facts over yeah, here. Yeah, but do you feel like uh, you feel like a cop pulling you over to tell you had commendable driving? Do you feel like you uh, you took that with you later in life? <laughs> You're like Officer like Jones told me I was a good driver, Mom. I honestly feel like I would. I mean, it didn't hurt. I mean, it certainly gave me a better perspective, I guess, of just like, oh, that guy actually appreciated. I mean, and I've known a lot of police officers and stuff, and I'm related to some, so I know the kind of crap those dudes go through. Like, that's a crappy job. Like, it really is. Like, I wouldn't want to be a cop. Like, commend you for wanting to even want to try doing it. But hmm. and there's some bad eggs in there in the in the the system. No matter no no yeah, don't joke every, either. Every but, industry. So I mean I mean to have I think on some level he pulled me over to have for somebody would have a positive interaction with with a police officer that. So maybe I could tell this story someday. I don't know. Oh, okay. he, he finally came full circle. Yeah, came full circle. I, honestly, honestly, thirty five years later, I think that's commendable. Um, I, I there was a point in my life where I wanted to be a cop, and I I tried out for it, and uh, I think that's a commendable idea. I would I feel like I would do the same, pull kids over, give them that experience, <laughs> illegally pull someone over. It's scare, not, it's not an illegal scare, pull scare over. the hell out of them. One hundred percent illegal to pull someone no, it's over not. for no reason. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's a reason you can pull somebody over for to it. say you did a good job. They can't. They can't detain you. Yeah, but they can pull you over for yeah. they can light you up for anything. Honestly, you don't have to stop. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a crime. Hey, people listening, do. that don't do that. You don't have to stop if the cops put their lights on. You don't have to stop. You don't have to stop. They will no. eventually stop you. You read that on the internet because that's I mean, everything. Is yeah, true. that's right. You don't and have to. Though. You will, and and you what? Remember that jail? You're going to end up getting a ch getting a ch getting a check it out. You don't have to eat either. Eating is a lie. Stop eating right now. Eating? Yeah, but, but I like eating. Nah, you don't yeah. have to. I didn't say I have to. I enjoy it. It's a choice. Yeah. Quit your job. That's true. <laughs> I guess you know eventually, I mean. eventually I'd run out of money. This is it. Bad All right. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for coming through, Mr. X. Hey, happy to be here. It was a good week. Enjoyed seeing you guys again. Uh, for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we out.